get out, right? But the problem was, is I was hanging and I couldn't quite, I couldn't quite get the door handle. So I was hanging like this. And I thought, oh, fuck, oh well, I better go back out. And then I realised I had nothing, I had nothing to push against, right? So I was, like, this is true, so I was hanging out like this. Oh my god, oh my god. And my flatmate was uh, an older Irish woman and, who was drunk all the time. <laughs> and I was, I'd been doing a night shoot. Uh, and it was, this was five in the morning. That's why I really just wanted to get inside and probably wasn't thinking straight. So I started yelling, uh, Maggie! Her name was Maggie. Maggie! Maggie! I'm stuck! And Maggie got up from, you know, her alcohol induced sort of coma and staggered past me and opened the door. <laughs> And so she was like, oh, uh, maybe I'll, I'll pull you out. But she couldn't pull me out because she's, you know, older, older, drunk woman that she couldn't do. And she was like, and then I was like, well, what are we going to do? And she's like, oh, I think we, she goes, I'm getting a drink. That's what she's like, no, I'm getting a drink. And she sat down and pulled up a chair next to me. And I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah what are we going to do? Um, and she goes, well, we'll call the fire brigade. And so the fire brigade turned up. Fire brigade, it's a apartment block, and so the fire the engine turns up and it's got its lights going. And people in the apartment block think, fuck, there's a fire. <laughs> and they start coming into the lobby, right? And all they see is my feet. <laughs> like that. And, and, and people thought a body had been sucked up. <laughs> this is all true. And the fire guy walked in and he looked at me, totally dead man, and went, You alright? <laughs> Stuck, and he was like, okay, we'll get you out. And so they grabbed my legs, because it was sort of an L shape, and they were pulling my legs and they couldn't, they couldn't get me out. So they had to cut a hole in the wall in order to straighten my body enough and then pull me out. And then, yeah, so I finally got to bed about 7 in the morning. And uh, no, no wounds, but, you know, my dignity was pounded. <laughs>